In today's video, I will teach you how to use the GIMP Eraser tool to remove backgrounds in GIMP. Let's get started. Start by opening GIMP and open the image that you want to edit by navigating to File, then Open and select your image file. You have the option to use the eraser tool or create a path around the object to remove the background, but this guide focuses on using the eraser tool. Now, activate the eraser tool from the toolbox or by pressing Shift E on your keyboard. The eraser tool allows you to remove parts of the image by painting over them. Now, click on the brush icon in the eraser tool options to choose a brush. GIMP offers various brushes, so select one that fits the look that you want. For initial removal, a larger brush works best. Now set the brush size using the scale slider in the tool options. Then start with a large size to remove the majority of the background quickly. You can reduce the size for more detailed work later. Now begin by erasing the background around your object. Then click and drag the eraser over the areas that you want to remove. Use the larger brush to clear out most of the background first. As you get closer to the edges of the object, you can zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus to see finer details. Then switch to a smaller brush size for precision work to carefully remove the background around your object. To zoom out, you can press Ctrl minus periodically to review your progress and ensure you haven't missed any areas. This helps in spotting small sections of the background that might need more attention. Now, click on the Fuzzy Select tool or the Magic Wand tool to highlight any leftover background pieces. Then click on the background area to select it. Now invert your selection by navigating to Select, then Invert, or simply by pressing Ctrl-I. This will select your main object, making it easier to refine its edges. Now go to Select, then Shrink, and input a small value like 1 or 2 pixels. This reduces the selection slightly, helping you capture the true outline of your object. Then further the selection by going to Select, then Feather. This softens the edges, making the transition between your object and the background smoother. Now copy your object by hitting Ctrl-C and paste it as a new image by pressing Shift-Ctrl-V. This creates a new image with a transparent background. If you plan to add a new background, Ensure no blank spots are left by growing the selection slightly by going to Select, then Grow. Then save your final image by navigating to File, then Export As, and choosing a file format that supports transparency like PNG. Save another version as an .xef file if you wish to retain the layers for future editing. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.